Yo, what is going on guys? I'm stoked on these reactions because it's always cool seeing new people do something new. But I was on YouTube this morning and I found a bunch of people cutting off their dreadlocks. And not only cutting them off, because a lot of people got onto me for saying shaving in the last video, but in this video, everyone who does their hair, they're shaving it. They're using a shaver, they're using whatever, but they're shaving their dreadlocks off in today's video. There was confusion last video, but today's video, they're doing the shaving thing. Give you guys some background real quick. If you guys remember, this is for all the new people, but hey, everyone already knows if they're an OG. I combed out my dreadlocks about, I don't even know how long ago, probably four months ago, four or five months ago. Finished combing them out. It took me three months to comb them out. I'm really glad that I didn't shave them or cut them off. It's always cool watching these videos because they're a little more tough than watching videos of people combing them out, which I just recently did a video on that. But it's always real interesting seeing how people can cut their dreadlocks or shave their head. I think it's just a whole different thing. Like for me, I always grew out my hair because I liked having longer hair and I've always wanted to have my hair really long. I mean, I guess it's pretty long, but I can explain more about that in another video. I just wanted to react to people shaving off their dreads and I haven't seen any of these videos yet, but I can only imagine the thought process of shaving off your dreadlocks, especially if you didn't really want to. Like say for instance, you had, like you ended up getting lice or mold or something like that and then you had to shave them off. That would be the biggest problem for me. But this first video we're about to watch is actually for a good cause. She's shaving her head for cancer and this was actually back in 2015. But before we get into this video, if you wanna get dreadlocks or you have dreadlocks and you wanna maintain them, you can go to greatlocks.com and it has all products you need in order to start, have, or maintain your dreadlocks the best way possible. I can leave links to some of the products that I've used before on my hair that worked great. And a lot of people with dreadlocks recommend these products. So you can check them all out in the link in the description. And that is greatlocks.com. So just straight up with the, I don't know, the clipper just going in. Like how cool of a transformation would that be though still? Cause like if it comes down to it, if you're gonna get rid of your dreadlocks and you're not gonna comb them out, like shave it all the way down to your head. Why not? You know what I'm saying? And like I know I mentioned in other videos, if I were to cut my dreadlocks, I would cut them and comb them out a little bit. But if I didn't comb out anything, it's like, might as well try being bald for a little bit. What do you guys think? Would you go bald or would you trim them a little bit and leave a little bit of hair left? Or would you just, you know, just go bald like these people I'm watching today? I feel like it'd be tough just to take some clippers straight to the dreadlock. I feel like you'd have to get some scissors and cut it down a little bit and then go in with like some guards first and then go all the way bald. But these people seem to be doing it fine. This is gonna be a crazy transformation. You can already see like, if you go bald from any type of hair, like it's already a huge transformation, but having dreadlocks, that's a big thing. But while watching this video, I might as well knock out some methods or ways that she actually got her dreadlocks. With her having straight dreadlocks, we could say that she probably started out with twist and rip or back combing. But if it were me, I would definitely recommend doing twist and rip and then going in with crochet hooking, which the crochet hook tool is gonna be linked down below because that's one of my favorite all time tools. And she's actually almost done shaving off everything. Seems like it's taken actually quite a long time. And there's only a few more dreadlocks left. But I can definitely say back to the method that she chose, twist and rip for sure, or I would recommend that if you have a straighter hair type. Then always follow it up with crochet hooking. And another method for her to maintain her dreads would have been obviously crochet hooking most likely. And could have, could have done interlocking. A lot of people do interlocking. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend it with a straighter curl pattern just because interlocks show a whole lot more on a straighter hair type. So I would just always recommend if you have straight hair, do crochet hooking. And if you have any hair, like just crochet hook if you have dreadlocks, just because it's, it gives it more of a natural look and it speeds up the process. Looks like everyone's just getting a shot at cutting this girl's hair off. So she has one more dreadlock left after this. I don't know about you guys, but one thing that I notice is like when people go bald, like they look okay bald. Like there's nothing that changes a whole bunch. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, like I feel like every person I've ever seen go bald, like they look good bald. They look okay, they look fine. And that's one thing that I think anybody who would want to go bald, like me for instance, if I think about going bald, I'm like, dude, that would be so weird. Like, I feel like I'd look so weird. And it probably would, I'm not gonna lie. But man, it, you know, it's one of those things that I feel like after you're done doing it, you're kind of just like, uh, it's actually not that bad. But here's another video right here of a guy shaving off his dreadlocks. He has like a mohawk set of dreads. And they said that he grew his hair out for two years and then started locking them up for five years, had them locked for five years. So he was growing his hair for over seven years and then now he's shaving it in less than a day. So that's the biggest thing that you get out of either combing out your dreadlocks or shaving your dreadlocks 
is all the work that goes into it, all of that work, well, if you're cut, if you're combing out your dreadlocks, it's different because it takes a lot of work as well. But say you're shaving your dreadlocks, all that work and all that you know time put into getting your dreadlocks, and you can just get rid of them in a day. It's pretty cool, pretty interesting at the same time though, that you can get rid of something so quick that took so long to get. And that's like kind of like a life rule. Like there's so many things out there that you can get rid of so quickly compared to the time that it took to get them. But like this dude right here, like he looks perfect with a bald head. Maybe it's just because he has a beard. And I think it's another thing too, like if you have a beard, like I feel like you don't necessarily need to have hair on top of your head. And that's personal preference, obviously. But I know if I had a full beard, like I don't know if I'd be too bummed to have a bald head. But I know like personally, just I enjoy the having long hair. Another, all these people are like straight hair dreadlockers. So this guy's actually shaving his head in public. I don't know why he did that, but first dreadlock. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is cool. He's having other people, dang, my hair's all jacked, but he's having other people cut his hair for him. This is a cool experiment. This is like, this is dope. I've never seen anybody do something like this with the dreadlocks. My hair just keeps falling down, guys. This is, I don't know. But this is a really cool experiment. Like if you're gonna get rid of your dreadlocks, this is one of the best ways you can do it. But that's so cool, what? This video only has 20,000 views. Why does it only have 20,000 views? This video came out in 2012, but this is a dope video. I feel like this should have millions of views. That's smart. Yeah, this is a really cool video idea. Like how cool of an experience would this be though? Cause like, say he had 70 dreadlocks, say he had 50 dreadlocks, no matter the amount he had, he could say that it took, say he had 70, took 70 people to cut his dreadlocks. And that's really cool. Like if I had, if I still had my dreadlocks and say I wanted to get rid of them, I think the only, after watching this video, I think the only way for me to get rid of them is would be to do a subscriber meetup and say, hey, one subscriber per dreadlock, you guys get to cut them off. There was only 72 dreadlocks. So 72 subscribers would have been cutting off my dreadlocks. Would have been interesting. And he's cutting the last one. That's cool. And now he's shaving it. I don't know why this is, but I'm gonna tell y'all, and y'all probably agree with me. Why does it seem like when, when people shave their head, it's like they always miss spots. Like when they do it themselves, like it seems like they always just keep, leave like little chunks of hair. And it's like, did y'all notice y'all left those chunks of hair? Looks good though. That was a cool video. That was a really cool video right there. That was a good concept. And I don't know what this dude is <laughs> doing. Next video, please. Another straight hair dreadlocker right here. And I think the video after this one is the only person I'm watching in this video that doesn't have straight hair dreadlocks. So a lot of people with straight hair dreadlocks film them cutting them cutting off their dreads. Dang, so that was quick. Thanks for showing the process, but she just cut off all of her dreadlocks and then like I'm assuming washed her hair and then now they're hooking her up with some sort of haircut. Let's see what they're gonna give. One thing that I always find interesting is that the person cutting the dreadlocks are getting rid of them or the person who's actually doing it. Oh, so. Looks like they're going all the way, same, uh, what do you call, same size all around. This lady cutting her hair uh, has dreadlocks as well. And I've noticed that with a lot of videos is that the people that are cutting the dreadlocks are people that have dreadlocks. And I'm not talking about the person getting their hair cut, I'm talking about the people cutting. Maybe it's because they go to their loctician or whoever did their dreadlocks to get their hair cut. And that would make a lot of sense. And it's like, if you've been going to this person for years to like maintenance your hair, if you don't maintain your hair yourself, You've been going to these people for such a long time, it's like, might as well go back to them and say, you know what, you know what, cut my hair. I want you to do it because you've been here the whole time, basically. And that'd be cool just to, to see the whole experience. And another bald head from Dreadlocks. Yeah, it would feel so weird, like, because, like, you're used to having hair and the weight, like, your hair has weight to it. I remember when I got rid of my Dreadlocks, like, I lost a lot of weight as far as my hair. And even with four years of growth on my dreadlocks, there was quite a bit of weight and like I can feel it on my neck. So like um, for all those people who've had their hair for a really, really long time, like five, 10 years, like five to 10 years, 10 to 20 years, there's so much tension on your neck and there's so much weight. So when you get rid of them, it's completely different. So like I said, this is the only video with someone who doesn't have straight hair dreadlocks. This person has very maintained dreads and really long dreads had her hair for 16 years. Now I'm gonna speak from my personal per, uh, perspective. Like I feel like this is completely different for women than it is for men because men, 
Like it's more, and I'm not putting this any type of way towards like, you know, anything. Like I'm not meaning this any kind of way negatively, but men typically, I would say that there's more men that have a shaved head than women that have shaved heads. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with women having shaved heads. I think women look fine with shaved heads. And I think it's actually really cool. But I would say I would feel it's more tough for women who are shaving their head versus men who are shaving their head. I'm just gonna leave that like that. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a negative way at all. So the easiest way to compare it is like, it's easier for women to grow their hair than it is for men to grow their hair, just because there's more women with longer hair than there is with men with longer hair. So I feel like that's the balance right there. One thing that I have noticed in all these videos is that people are cutting their hair with clippers that I've never even seen before. It's like, what are they using? I know one person that I've seen, and it's not in this video, but they were using like dog clippers. And I guess clippers are clippers, and it's always interesting seeing what people, what clippers people use. Oh no, I thought she was really crying. And the difference between this video and all the other videos is that she's going all the way down to the skin uh, with with the cut. The other ones they kind of left like I guess you would call it a buzz cut, where they leave some sort of hair, like a one on the top. <laughs> I bet that feels so good. So that's a reaction of seeing what she looks like for the first time. <laughs> she said her hair is ash or she said her head is ashy. That's crazy. That's really cool. I like watching these videos because I like seeing people's reaction. But that was a really cool reaction. I think all the videos I watched today were some of the best videos I've seen of people shaving their dreadlocks because of not only the reasons that they chose, but seeing their reaction behind it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to go check out greatlocks.com because it has all your dreadlock needs and dreadlock tutorials and everything like that. So I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.